Welcome back to Bloodstock TV. We are sitting here with the one and only Rob from Machine Head. How are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm very well. I can't. You're looking all sunny and. I was away for the last month. Yeah. I was down along the east coast of Spain. Oh, okay, nice. Rammaging around the place. Rammaging? What was that word? I don't know. Uh, yeah, just soaking it all up, and then I was jumped into Vac, and then I, it was it was the same weather over there, and then right, I hit right. this place. So. It's pretty awesome. Ninety what? fucking degrees. Yes, here. it's amazing. The, the thing is, man, what the fuck are you doing at Bloodstock? <laughs> <laughs> well, we decided that we were going to just uh, do a surprise show. Yeah. Uh, you know, we got a tour starting. I was already of coming course. over here to do pre-production for the tour. Yeah. And uh, I was like, you know what? Like, I'll call up Alan and be like, hey, is there any chance that you could squeeze us in on the tent stage and do like a quick set? Wow. And he's just like, I think I, think I, can, I, can, make do that. I think can make that happen. <laughs> We'll so it unannounced, and it was like it was it was so much fucking fun. That was our first show back from the pandemic. Yeah, so like and what a way to crazy do crazy bar. And how long? I mean, this was a major secret. This was a yeah. huge yeah. secret. So like you, I mean, did anyone else even like? Apparently, to... I don't know. Well, Alan keeps saying that it was you know only three people knew. Then it was only five people knew. Then it was only eight people yeah. who knew. And I was like, okay, pretty soon it's going to be only twenty people yeah. knew, but. But uh, yeah, we did manage to keep it a pretty good secret. Yeah, and in this so, day and age, I mean, yeah. keeping it under wraps, we, we were kind of asking people on Thursday, who do you think it is? And there was all these wild speculations. Oh, it's it's Slipknot, it's it's Rammstein. It's it's like <laughs> Rammstein, the Ramstein, Sophie Tent. Okay. I don't fucking think so, <laughs> yeah. man. But anyway, look, the most important thing is you have this phenomenal beast of an album that I have had the pleasure of spinning for weeks now, probably a month and a half probably at this yeah, stage. Yeah. It is absolutely hand on heart a fucking animal of a record. Thank you, man. And Thank you. I mean, Jesus, like you're on the, it's breaching at the moment, this album, right? So it's What's just that? breaching. It, it's <laughs> so breaching. it's not birthed yet. Oh, so right, right, breaching. right. So yeah. Two weeks. It's just about Thank to come you. out. So, you, you must on. be Open just beside beer. yourself with excitement with I'm this very coming excited. out. Hold on. That's fine. This beer is this beer is literally hot. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of gross. So I had to put some ice in my beer. That's no worries. Now it's gonna be good. Have a sip. I'm very excited about the record. Yeah. Super proud of it. You know, it's out in two weeks and we're 26th of August. 26th yeah. of August of Kingdom and Crown and uh, I'm just excited for you know to share it with the world, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think that. You know, so much of this was written over the pandemic, and you know, in some ways, I think that, you know, just the isolation and being kind of just in our own little world just made this really special album. Yeah. You know, like we didn't, you know, it's, it's something about, you know, it's in some ways just tuning the outside world out and just kind of focusing on being machine head and just trying to write the best songs that we can and make mm -hmm. the heaviest shit that we can. And, yeah. And you know, I. It, it, it was it was cool, a special but, moment, but, man. But the, with, with every album, with any anything that's creative, it documents a period of time. Sure. And it will forever be that period of time. Long, like you had said to me before, there's this kind of transition where this is the album. It, I kind of have this intimate moment with it, and then when I put it out into the public, it's there. It's that. Yeah, it's gone. Totally. But it but what an interesting time to when you look back in this, and it would be like, God, do you remember when everything shut down for two fucking years, and I wrote this incredible album and then released it? So it's. It, 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 the, the fact that it's such an incredibly strong album as well as it's poignant for a time that was utterly shit that I mean you turned lemons into the most delicious fucking lemonade <laughs> of all time thank you I mean thank you, you. I, I, look you should be so proud it's just it's such a fantastic album and I'm sure you are just gagging to rip this thing live I, I really just want to yeah I mean we just I just want people to hear it you know I mean I yeah. think it's so much to me to me music is so much about a connection it's about making a connection with yeah. people and you know that's that's always the goal with what we're doing you know yeah. like no if we you know if we stopped playing festivals for you know eight years that was our first festival UK, I know, in, the yeah. UK in 10 years yeah and I stopped doing festivals because I just I didn't feel that connection with the, yeah. the audience anymore like and I just needed to get my break from it yeah you know how and did that feel though yeah yesterday was fucking like, I mean are you it, was it was fucking insane Maybe. yeah I mean an I evening mean, with Machine Head at a I festival mean, you know, part of me goes, yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, if every festival was like yesterday, I'd be like, fuck yeah, sign me up. You know, yeah. I was just fucking sick. But, I mean, it was insane. Like, just insanity yeah. levels of fucking mayhem. I, I was, it was I, I was there. It was... 
but Crazy. you know it's like you also got to do the festival circuit you know and that's what people don't realize is that you know you got to go to Serbia you got to go to Budapest you got to do you know I was just talking to Chuck Billy and Gary Holt from Exodus and Testament yesterday and you know they're like dude we've been out here for eight weeks like I'm done like I'm frazzled. so they're just frazzled yeah they, and they still have 10 more days here and they're just like I just want to go home like I'm fucking yeah. sick of it you know like and and I get it like I get it man it's fucking hard it's really hard doing the festival circuit it, it is kind of a vicious circle because even though it is great but you as you said you do have to commit to this massive grueling kind of and it's schedule and it and it is the side that people don't really yeah. understand and see so yeah and so you know I don't yeah. know and never say never but like okay. for now like all that matters is that we did an awesome show yesterday yeah, and well, that's you know all that could, matters. and that's yeah, that, 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 that was that was it pre-production you mentioned for the tour how uh -huh. is that uh, have you got into that I mean are, are you on your way to at least was this yeah I leave I leave Monday to oh, leave on Monday yeah to set that up we've got you know big, biggest production we've ever yeah, had yeah because you know, when I spoke to you you kind of gave me a little taster and you you were sort of telling me like about how big the production is and like what in terms of we're going to walk into these arena and what are we seeing on stage? I mean, you know, I don't like don't get your expectations that high. You know? like, <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's not Ramstein, you know. No, like, it's, it's just better. it's the biggest we've had. Yeah. But you know, it's you know, it's it's just to give people a show. You know, we're playing arenas. It's all arenas. I'm on Amarth, Machine Head. You know, mm -hmm. we headline the UK. They headline in Germany, and then various yeah, territories yeah. we kind of flip flop. flip flop. Yeah, and so you know, it's just a matter of giving everybody an yeah. awesome. You know, it's giving people spectacle. Yeah, you know, it's giving sure. people some bang for their buck. The old school concept of a massive big fucking yes. show with a big production. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then with with regard to like the new material that's on the album, are you how many tracks are gonna be in the live show? Are you gonna gradually start feeding? I'm them not in? sure. You know, we're all, we're both only playing like an hour. You know, so right. it's like. Is there no one wants to hear, you know, the whole album, you know. Just so, yeah. Play the whole right. Album. I mean, we played two yesterday. We yeah. played, you know, we opened with "Become the Firestorm," which right. was fucking awesome. Yeah. My drummer's like, "Don't ever do that again." <laughs> like, I was like, "Oh no, you we're gonna." That was me. sick. Yeah. It was fucking brutal. Yeah. And uh, you know, yeah. So we did, and then we did choke. So you know. It might. I think. In. I think we'll probably be rotating a lot of. Okay. You know, I, that's what I want to do. I really want to. You know, we've been doing the electric happy hours every Friday during the pandemic where we play Just a two hour show and it's well. we always mix up the set. You know, we don't, we, yeah. you know, and I like that. I like the idea. Like, I don't think we're going to have just like a set. You know, that doesn't change over the tour. I think we're yeah. going to like... It's going to keep it fresh. Yeah, keep yeah. it fresh. Um, you, just the, the Electric Happy Hour uh, has been a, an amazing kind of mental escape for you as well during that time when everything was locked down. I mean, I was watching it. It was total escapism for you to keep your hand in, keep your mind away from the monotonous, like staying at home. And this is this next question is linked to, you had told me that one of your all-time favorite tracks that you, you and your wife love is... My Chem, Welcome to the Black Parade. Oh yeah, that album, yeah. Do, have you ever covered that? Did you ever do that in the... In when, the when I was doing the acoustic happy hours, yeah. I did the song, the, oh. uh, the Black Parade. Right. Yeah, I did, and it was fucking hard. Uh, yeah, I was say, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's some really high vocals. Yeah. And uh, so I did that. Jared and I didn't do it. Uh, we didn't do an, an electric version of it. Right. But, you know, we, I could see it. I, could, I love, I'm not... I'm not gonna front. I fucking love my chemical romance. Yeah, me like too. I'm into like I'm into to a ton of emo shit like that. Yeah, so, no, they're know. just amazing. I took my son. It was the, like se second gig he ever went to in his entire life. And yeah. He's like, oh my god. Yeah. And now he loves Queen because of them. So he's, right. And he's like 11. Yeah. So. I mean, they're yeah. a fantastic band, yeah. and you know. Um. Okay. So, one thing that you had said recently on your podcast is that once the you are doing ridiculous amounts of press right now, like ridiculous, and mm -hmm. when the album comes out, you're like. It's always been the machine head thing. Like it's out. We're done with press. We're kind of. We just want to actually concentrate on touring now. So, are you looking forward to not doing press anymore? <laughs> because I mean, you're, I mean, you were saying I'm doing like five, six hours a day. Yeah, I was doing eight hours. Yeah. When you come home. Was, yeah. And I mean, everyone keeps asking you the same fucking questions over and over. It, again. You know, <laughs> it's it's all part of the thing. Though, know. You know what I mean? Like it's just I'm I don't hate it. I don't love it. it I, you know, I mean, I probably lean closer to hating it, but <laughs> but I don't really yeah. feel that. Yeah much way about it mm -hmm. either way you know it's just part of the gig yeah and you know i mean in the, in the past i would have been doing like a, you know prior to the pandemic it'd be like a press tour so i'd go out for a month and i'd be flying yeah. to different countries every day other. and that's you know so to be able to go home yeah. and like i do eight hours on down at my studio and yeah. then i just come home and i can you know be, with be my at wife. home with your family yeah, yeah. yeah. so I mean, that's you know i'm not going to complain about it like that's 
Okay, so besides the EU leg of this tour, um, and as we kind of get into the beginning of next year and through next year, I mean, is the plan to just tour, yeah, tour this? Tour and tour and tour and tour. Hard, yeah, yeah, tour fucking hard. And we're going to see everywhere, Australia, America, yeah, South yeah. America. Yeah, I mean, everything. we're going to tour. We want to tour every nook and cranny. Yeah, right. You know, like right, like right now, like in November, we're planning a U.S. tour that's all like really small market tour. You know, no, okay. no major markets, like no New Yorks, no L.A., no San Francisco, like okay. just like all the... The nooks and crannies of the country, and I'd like to do that. Like we've never played Liverpool, you know what I mean? Like we're play, we're doing these warm-up shows in Scotland. Right. We're playing Dundee and Inverness, and you know places that we've you know in 30 years is, we've never is, been is to. Is that going to be just an evening with? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And we're in fact we're calling it Electric Happy Hour Live. <laughs> and so Perfect. it'll just be like it is what it yeah, is. It drink says beer and playing yeah. metal songs. Perfect. And so uh, and we and we want to we want to kind of continue that like kind of continue that vibe like have the sets be very different you know yeah. I think it gives people a reason to come to the shows yeah you know well again just being able to actually see you know as you said off the not the normal run of the usual places but in these uh, kids going to see I can't believe you've never played Liverpool for some bizarre reason that's mad right but yeah that's a, yeah. a great I mean we did it we did a small tour like this I want to say it was like twenty. 14 we played Brighton we played like Newcastle yeah. we did like a bunch of small and it was fucking awesome man like it was awesome so like I'd love to do that again yeah uh, yeah well you can and yeah. you will yeah. <laughs> so great well look just tickets are on sale now yes. for uh for the tour that kicks off in September yep September so 8th. we are opening night in Nottingham Nottingham on the 8th Cardiff on the 9th yep London on the 10th. Yes. Manchester on the 12th. Yes. And Dublin on the 13th. Yeah, you're going to be there. I'm so going to be there. <laughs> Christ almighty. Awesome. Absolutely. So yeah, get your get out there, get your tickets. It's going to be fucking amazing. Huge production. Yeah. Plenty of neck breaking machine fucking head goodness. circle pits and circle head banging pits. and raging so how many circle pits can we have going at the same time i don't know that i mean we thing. hold the we we hold the record for sonosphere we yeah. had 22 22 we had 22 circle pits well, at sonosphere listen, there's the there's the marker can we beat 22 circle pits yeah. in an arena i think yes. there's plenty of space to do it yeah, it find be. out on tour that's the only way mm -hmm. excellent all right well listen thank you man yeah i thanks appreciate for having it me, man. Yeah, awesome <laughs>